Not the carpet. Mm. Should we reveal it now or we should, you know, it's, um, I think it's better that we get in there and watch the movie and then we actually know what's under the carpet. But for now, I'll just do a little, you know, just give a little and I'll say that um, for a mother, you, you desire the best for your child and every loving, caring mother look forward to her child bringing forth after her likeness and so that's one of the things that um, what's under the carpet will be more like what the mom will do what a mother would go to what extent a mother would go you know for her child and of course a mother is ready to bury anything as long as the child is protected you know, so what is under the carpet? What is it that the mom is hiding just for the protection of her son? And that is what we're going to discover very soon. <laughs> so, there's a lot of things under the carpet. All of us are over the carpet now, but our lives have their underbellies. You know, nobody knows our deep secrets. Nobody knows the, the dirty things we're hiding. Nobody knows the sacrifices we've made. Nobody knows the fears that we have. Of. Nobody knows the offenses that we have done. Yeah, so we all have a lot of things under the carpet. She's generous to the picture. I like people who are serious and take themselves seriously. They work seriously. The craft is a serious thing. And I worked for her because she was involved from day one to the, to the, to, to the minutest detail. I like people who are like that, and, and I enjoy working with people like that. I'm going to eat some very, Thank very you. low side. Well, Ojo was pretty fantastic, wonderful, awesome. Uh, aside the fact that the production was, you know, properly organized, Yabo Joe herself has a very, very wonderful personality and um, I consider myself very privileged to have worked with her. And I look forward to more projects with Yabo Joe. She, she is, she's too awesome. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she accommodates almost everyone because that's not an easy thing to do. But she's an awesome human being. My role on this production was a simple billionaire. That's it. All about it. I'm not going to give out more. I had too much money. Now, you know, guys that are billionaires don't talk too much. <laughs>
Ah, under the carpet. Ah, so many artists they don't sing about under the duvet. So I call this under the carpet. Ah, carpet is so low. Omo, this thing will come. Omo, when I not sit in the come and but make I keep out from my mind. Yeah, but until I see that movie, but under the carpet with that posture of anti abuju. Omo, under the carpet. Oh yo yo. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, the movie was nice. It was cut shots. I guess they want us to go and pay and watch it. But it was really nice. And I think it was a tease. But I enjoyed it. I did. I loved their performance. I loved everything about the film. Yes. Yabo's role was well played. And the delivery was on point. She never disappoints anyway. So, yeah. Awesome. Good storyline. Uh, reminds me of... Uh uh, uh, what's the title of this movie way back? Uh, I had a good time, I had a good time. Of course, it's Yabo Ojo. I never expected anything less. That movie was really, really unique. I was actually still, like, I'm still waiting for what is really under the carpet because I'm still yet to see what is under the carpet. When they froze the movie and they're like, oh, everybody should stand up for Ovision. I'm like, you need to Shiba, you know. <laughs> Guys, you need to see this movie. It's really, really nice. So captivating. The suspense in it, I tell you, you can't imagine it. I wasn't really surprised seeing Yabo taking that role perfectly because I know her to be very, very versatile and then, you know, she's um, very flexible when it comes to role interpretation. So seeing her doing that, well, it was just a wow, but it wasn't like um, I wasn't expecting that to be able to carry that role. But in terms of the Yabuju, you really did well. I, I wasn't surprised seeing her acting what I just saw. She's very, very good. Uh, and to the story, I don't know. The story, I, I don't know if they if can go back inside for them to just complete it. Because I can't wait to complete the movie. It's very interesting. And I want to see the suspense. I'm after it. So thank you very much. I love my ass out. I really, really enjoy the movie. It's a very, very interesting movie. As in, you know Auntie Yabo now. She will kill any role you give to her. So I trust her. I didn't expect less. I know she will do it. I have always a friend now, what are we talking about? So, if I'm not part and parcel of this movie, that means I'm not real to her. So, uh, I don't want to be fake to her. So, she's a very good friend of mine. It's been a while. I, I wasn't surprised seeing her acting, what I just saw. She's very, very good. Uh, and to the story, I don't know. The story, I, I don't know if they if can go back inside for them to just complete it because I can't wait. To complete the movie it's very interesting and i want to see the suspense i'm after it so thank you very much i love my ass out i really really enjoyed the movie it's a very very interesting movie as in you know auntie yabo now she will kill any role you give to her so i trust her i didn't expect less i know she will do it so under the carpets um the quality picture is there the sound is okay i told people that something under the carpet you can get to know it more better until you get to cinema. Just watch out for this under the carpet. I'm still remembering myself. My name is Olata Yama Kadi Agba Pika. I want to go to the carpet. I want to go to the carpet. I want to go to the carpet. It was fun. It was fun because, you know, this is the first time I had to play the, the pigeon 
Male, ghetto level, you know, it was fun, it was fun. It, was fun. Uh, it wasn't really challenging to me, it was fun because I'd never played that kind of role before. Having to play a stripper, you know, having to speak pigeon almost throughout the movie. You know, yes, I spoke pigeon growing up, but at a particular time I was, you know, caught up between speaking either English or Yoruba. Now having to speak pigeon all through was fun and I really had fun. I enjoyed myself, you know, playing that role. Yeah, okay, nice job. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.